Okay, okay, keep that shoulder up. Well, don't drop that shoulder. Okay, like that. Okay. Hook! Get a rip. Yeah, work on the body. Head trick. Yeah. Look at the red body. Back up. Back up. Down. Up. Down. Give me a right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right, 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 right. Just a spot, tough guy. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, come on, Manny. Can I borrow these gloves? They belong to Killer Kelsey. They could bring me luck. For what? So you can heat up on another poor schmuck who's late paying off his bookie? I did my time for that. I don't do that stuff no more! Come on, Manny. For old time's sake. What the hell do you care if I use these gloves or not? I mean, you ain't doing nothing with them. What I'm doing with them is keeping them. Ain't just like all the rest of them. Nobody will give Tommy Dunn a break. Man, I put those gloves on. I could feel it. It was like fire, you know? Like my hands were burning. I had you figured for a bum. I didn't know you were a nutcase. You can't throw a hook. You gotta hitch when you deliver the right. Even your footwork is lousy. A mile away, I can see you got nothing. Now get out of here and do what you get paid for. Sweep the damn floor! <coughs> hey, Don, why don't you give it up, man? <laughs> Because I'm still hoping to get a shot at you, Cornelius. Me? Man, I wouldn't waste my time. <laughs> You're a lost cause, Dunn. <laughs> good night, Mr. King. All right, good night, kid. Oh, kid, uh, before you go, uh, let's talk about your schedule. Oh, yeah, okay. First. <laughs> Don? Yeah? I'm going home now. Make sure the towel money's in the box. All of it. If I come up short again, you're on the street. Don? Yeah, I hear you. Keep your nose clean. Who's there? Gun? Is that you?
Are you on drugs or what? This is for calling me a bum. Punch. diary for Lloyd. A uh, day in the life of Curious Good. Lloyd, Lloyd. Haven't heard much of him lately. He's still engaged? Well, of course. Why wouldn't we be? Well, I don't know if my fiance was living with two other men. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I think once he's seen that picture, he won't be too worried. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. You missed my good side. You don't have a good side. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's up? Do you want the good news or the bad news? Good news, please. Mrs. Manny King wants us to look at her husband's collection of boxing memorabilia. Thinks we might be interested in buying. She needs some cash to settle her husband's estate. Yeah, there ought to be some stuff in there we can unload. After all, curious goods is curious good. And uh, what's the bad news? The reason she called us was that Manny bought some stuff from your Uncle Lewis. Like this. Killer Ken Kelsey's boxing gloves, item 29764, sold to Manny King. Killer Ken Kelsey? Yeah, he was a, a welterweight boxing champ in the 40s. 1947, he was defending his title, and he knocked his opponent out, and he killed him. Hence the nickname. No, he had that nickname long before that. This time, he just lived up to it. I was at that fight. That was, that was really awful. And Kelsey hung up the gloves after that. Some people said he went a little... Strange. He never threw another punch. Well, where do we go to get this collection? You mean find the boxing gloves? Manny's gym, 8th Street. Come on. I used to box back in high school. That explains it. Explains what? Brain damage. Why don't you take a few pictures of these axes? Really put Lloyd's mind at ease, hmm? No sign of those gloves yet, huh? Not a... such a pack rat. I don't know the half of what he's got. With all the time and money he spent on this stuff, it's got to be worth something. And this is everything, is it? As far as I know. Sadie, do you remember a pair of old boxing gloves belonged to Ken Kelsey? <laughs> killer Ken Kelsey? Sure, they got to be around here someplace. You can't miss them. They've got killer stamped right into the leather. All this was for a museum, you know. Manny wanted to start one. The history of boxing. Well, if you don't mind my asking, how did your husband die? He was beaten to death in an alley right around the corner from here. What about the police? The police, what do they know from nothing? Haven't they got any leads? Oh, sure. Only one set of footprints at the scene of the crime. And they say Manny tried to write something. Two letters, T-O. T-O? What could that mean? Who knows? Anyway. Don't bring Manny back. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So, uh, what do you think? Well, it's going to take some time cataloging all of this. We'd like to be thorough. Stay as long as you need. Only 
one of a gorgeous guy like me. Woohoo! I have to wait for the flash to recharge. For me to recharge. <laughs> so, what's your name? I'll send you one if they turn out. The fans call me terrific, but you can call me Tony. Hey, forget about him, doll. Tony here is just a boy. Why don't you take a picture of a real man? The name's not Doll, it's Mickey. That's all right, you're still a doll. Hey, what say we go out for a bite to eat after the fight tonight? Just you, me, and your camera. We'll see what develops. No, thanks. Beat it, Don. Hey, why don't you mind your own business, man? Get back in the ring. I said, beat it. You're an awful big talker outside of the ring, Cornelius. You just want to say that to me in the ring? <laughs> don't make me laugh, man. The day I waste my time with a bum like you, I'll be hanging up my gloves. Thanks. <laughs> don't mention it. The name's Mickey. Uh, Cornelius, uh, Kid Cornelius. <laughs> kid Cornelius? Does everybody here have a nickname? Well, it's all part of the image, you know. Uh, <laughs> looks better on the fight bills than Sammy. <laughs> Look, uh, don't let him get you. Manny just lets him hang around. He does odd jobs. So he's not a fighter? Well, he's been in the ring, but uh, he's had more losses than anybody in the city. <laughs> and what about you? Well, I've had a few big fights. I could have trained uptown, but I decided to stay down here with Manny. Well, look, kid, uh, I... Sam. Sam. Thanks a lot. Hey, just let me know if he bothers you again, all right? Sam! Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Hey. Are you gonna come inside and watch me fight? Are you kidding? I've seen you fight. That's what you call it. No, man, I'm gonna stay here. Never know what hits you, chump. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Laugh it up. Hey, guys, leave me alone, will you? I gotta pray. is the great art of wearing the killer gloves. To you, oh, Tommy. That's the clue Manny was trying to leave. Help! Help! I 
need some help. He's dead out there. He's dead. Terrific, Tony. He was in an argument with Dunn just before the fight. And now Dunn has the gloves. Too much for a coincidence, in my liking. But Dunn never left the ring. He sure split out of here in a hurry. Maybe he put the gloves in his locker. Wait here. Looking for something? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, it, no. You always go breaking into people's lockers? Look, it's not what you think. No, then what is it? Well, I gave my uh, wallet to Tommy uh, to hold, and uh, he said he'd put it in his locker. For now, me. is that a fact? Yeah, yeah, and he left in such a hurry. Mm -hmm. He must have forgot about it. Then what's this, then? Oh, jeez. Thanks. Go on. Get out of here before you get into more trouble. Okay, thanks. Damn, he's home. This is exactly the type of neighborhood Dunn would live in. If he wasn't there, I could get us in easily enough. We could be waiting all night for him to come out. I've got an idea. Hey, where are you going? There are some things I can do that you two can't. Hi, is this Tommy Dunn? Yeah. You might not remember me, but I met you earlier today at the gym. My name's Mickey. The skirt with the camera. That's right. I just wanted to tell you that I thought you fought a wonderful fight. Ah, well, it uh, wasn't bad. And I also wanted to apologize for the way I acted this afternoon. Yeah, well, uh, you win some, you lose some. Well, look, um, I know it's late. But if you're not doing anything, I would really love to grab a cup of coffee. Yeah. Well, uh, why don't you come on over to my place? Mm, I'd rather not. At least, not quite yet, if you know what I mean. Maybe later. Yeah, sure, Dolph. Whatever you say. Uh, I was also wondering if there's a place close to where you live. Yeah. Uh, how about 15 minutes? I'll be there in five. Five it is. <laughs> she wants us to wait. Unexpected surprise. Me too. You bring your camera? Max, some Java. An apple pie for two. Yeah, sure, Tommy. Mickey. Mickey, what is that? You Irish? It's a name like that you gotta be, and not here. Well, my mother's Irish, my father's English, from way back. In fact, I have a feeling my family must have landed with the pilgrims. Strong hands. And that's not all. Huh. You 
pretty handy with that pick. Yeah. That's the last thing my old friend Jimmy gave me before he went away. Where'd he go? Sing Sing, three to eight. This is disgusting. The guy grades his pizza. That? Or you had tortured for a while. I guess I really wasn't very hungry. What say we go back to my place for a little bit of a nightcap? You really pounded that guy good tonight. I hope he wasn't hurt. He is, he is. That's the breaks. I like a man with confidence. Confidence, baby. You're looking at a guy that just can't lose at anything. <laughs> Max, the bill. Can I have Yo. some more coffee? You can have some at my place, like I say. I just can't lose. Tommy, it's really getting late. Let's not rush into anything. Hey, doll. You called me, you remember? I gotta work tomorrow morning really early. You think I'm a sucker? No, Tommy, of course not. Honest, I, I really wanted to talk to you. Tommy, please, let go my arm. You're hurting me. had her set me up. No, we wouldn't do that. Okay, boy. Now, this is you. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just a little shaky, you know. Something attacked me. I gotta get this film developed. Mickey, get in the car. We didn't get the films. Come on, let's get out of here. You sure it wasn't just some guy dressed in black, huh? For heaven's sake, Jack, I think I know the difference between a man dressed in black and a shadow. My hand went right through it. I know what I saw. I hope these are worth it. I had to trade in my only copy of Green Lantern number three to get these developed in the middle of the night. You're too kind. Nice building. I don't understand. It's not there. Never mind, Mickey. It was a good idea. No, no, I swear. The Flash must have washed it out completely. Sure. Wait a minute. Look at this. That must have been the time the Flash didn't work. I think I know how this goes. Look, when Dunn wears those gloves, his shadow splits off and goes after a victim. But 
What the heck is this shadow? Well, Mickey, we all have a dark side to our personalities, but we keep it under control. In Dunn's case, his dark side is unleashed. And the gloves release a shadow that's able to kill anyone who's a threat to Dunn. Or anyone who's trying to steal the gloves. And if there's another fight? In order for him to win, there has to be another murder. Hey, man. How you doing? OK. Did you like that last night, Davy? Hey, Frank, how you doing? Ho, ho, ho! Ooh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You know, you've been shooting your mouth off a long time around here, Corny. It's about time somebody zipped it up for you. Oh, yeah, and you're the man? You know, I used to be afraid of you, man, but no more. <laughs> Why not you and me? Right now, up there in that ring. John, you're a waste of breathing room. What's the matter, man? You can't take the heat? No, man! It's the smell. Now that he knows we're after them, he's going to guard those gloves with his life. I doubt he'll ever use them outside the ring. Well, why don't we call the police? Tell them what? The shadow's knocking people off? It's just his word against ours. All right, what, what now? Any bright ideas? I'm sorry, Ryan, not this time. Well, it looks like the only way we're going to be able to get the gloves is when he's in the ring fighting. Oh, no Damn it. chance of that. Damn it! Dunn has killed Manny, and he's killed... Tony, and there isn't a way in hell that you or I or anybody in this world is going to be able to prove it. It's... <laughs> you got your wish, man. Tonight, here at Maria, 8 o'clock. And I'll be there with my gloves on. You better show. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just giving Dunn his big chance. You can't fight him. Why not? Because somebody might get hurt. Yeah. I'm going to wipe up the floor with him. You don't understand. You don't understand. Now, I know that you guys think that Dunn killed Manny. Well, so do I. There's more to it than that. There ain't no more to it than that, man. Manny was like a father to me. We're going to have to make sure that nobody gets hurt. Killed, Jack. Killed. Kev Cornelius isn't going to call the match off. He's out for blood. Yeah, but the question is who's? Remember, Ryan, don't be a hero. Just wait for your opportunity. That is set up the sun gun. All right. Okie dokes. Good luck. Thanks. Well, Tommy. Hmm? You crazy coming here alone after last night? Maybe I am. Maybe I know something. What do you mean? The gloves. I know about them. You know? I saw you steal them. I was in the back waiting for Manny. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you know, Manny gave me the gloves. Kind of my good luck. Oh, yeah, sure he did. Your friend, Manny. How about if I go find a cop and let him decide, hmm? With your record, who do you think he's going to believe? What do you want from me? <laughs> Mine. Yeah, that's better. Let's talk about your career. You get to keep the gloves. I get to keep the money. Well, 70%. <laughs> we got a deal, haven't we? Yeah, we got a deal. Tell you what. Wait for me outside, out in the parking lot. Hmm. Yeah, parking lot's fine. No games done. I can find you anywhere. Yeah. Where to find you, old man? Tonight. Did you buy it? Oh, I'm afraid so. Over there's about right, I think. I don't like this. Oh, well, neither do I, but it's the best we've got. Don is a real hothead. He's bursting with rage. We've got to use that against him. I know, but I'm just worried. Well, so is Don, so don't worry too much. Look, it's an old strategy, isn't it? Tie a goat to a peg, wait for a lion. Yeah, I just don't want you to be the sacrificial lamb. Hey, Don. See you in the parking lot, partner. Corner man out.
over here. Come on. You'd rather fight girls, would you? Come on, let's see what you've got. Yeah, come on, let's see what you've got. If you've got anything. Genius! Mm. You did it! Love's in the vault, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, while well, you were parking. But you know, I think it all worked out pretty well. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose this is some great triumph in your book. What more do you want? We got the gloves back. We did what we could. Isn't that enough? No, it is not. That slime killed two people, and nothing's gonna happen to him. Mickey, the guy's got a perfect alibi. What do you want us to do? Go up to the cops and tell them that a shadow uh, beat two people to death? Cops don't believe in magic. I think what she's talking about is justice and what you're talking about is law. Second oldest problem, Ryan. When your ideals outstrip the realities. And what's the oldest? No. Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Hey, you want some cocoa? It's no trouble. Not really. Thanks, anyway. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. OK, uh, good night. Good night. Where's my gloves? You know where they are? All right. We go get them. You make one sound. Hmm? And I open you up. Vicky, is that you? <laughs> Hold it. Okay, I'm holding. Get the gloves. They're locked up. Unlock them. Now, you want to see her bleed? Hmm? What are you guys doing? Oh, Who else is here? Nobody just that. Anything you want, but just don't hurt her. Hurt her? Oh. I'll hurt her to death. Now, you move it. The gloves. Sure. Sure. If you try something making some phone calls or anything, and your girlfriend here is gonna die very slowly. I'm not his... Okay, 
Okay, I'm going. Okay? Just ease up on her. Try it. Come on, old man. Hey, you want to try and take me? You were a lot tougher in the gym, weren't you? Turn around. You got no alibi for this, Dunn. You're hurting me! For God's sake, man! Shut up the booth again! Maybe I ought to cut you both to make you shut up, hey? You think that's a good idea, hey, Bill? Hmm? No. <laughs> Done! That would be foolish. Nobody can prove anything up to now. You got away with it. You've outsmarted. Kill us or you hurt us, then they're going to know, aren't they? So why don't you just leave now? And you'll be quite safe. Because without the gloves, I go back to being like I always been. A nobody. A bum like this one here wouldn't even talk to. Hey, doll. Maybe I'd have slaves for that too, huh? Watch your pretty face while I dig it in. Huh? Stringing me along like that, making me think you liked me. I swear, none of us meant to hurt you. Don't you hear me that. You're just like the rest of them. Always stepping on me, keeping me down, keeping me from taking what should belong to me. Don! You want the gloves? Without doubt, the stupidest thing that you've ever done. Those, those things were cursed. Now, you know what that means? It was a calculated risk, and it worked. Hmm? I mean, look, look, look. I, I don't have the gloves on, and, and then nothing went wrong. Jack, he's not breathing. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. You better call him. <laughs> Justice on yourself. Hey, where can I put this? Oh, hi. Just put it over there. Okay. Any news on Dunn yet? Oh, yeah. The commission doctor came around. What do you say? Well, turns out that Dunn had scar tissue all around his brain. You know, from being beat up all those times. Turns out my fight had nothing to do with him being hurt. You know, I thought it'd feel pretty good when I beat up on him. You know, like, uh, I'd feel like, like I was doing something for Manny. But Manny would have never had nothing to do with anything like this. 
Hey, uh, hey, you ever uh, figure out why he came over here? No. He just came in and started shouting, and all of a sudden he collapsed. Yeah. Well, look, uh, I got to go uh, get the rest of the boxes. I got to get going. I'm going to be running the gym for a while for Mrs. King. You know, try to put something back in, like Manny always said. So, Ryan, looks like you weren't responsible after all. Maybe what happened to Dunn wasn't your fault, Ryan. But for what happened to me, I hold you entirely responsible. <laughs> Someday, Ryan, when you least expect... 